All right, so right now we're going to talk about an application from 20,000 feet. So this is going to be a very high level overview of all of the pieces of an application that uses MongoDB and how they interact and briefly talk about the Mongo shell and how it fits into all of this. All right, so the very beginning, you have some application. So this is your app and it provides some service. Over here, you have some clients. And these clients are making requests to your application. They may be web browsers. They may be various other applications. They don't necessarily have to be web browsers. They could be anything that you know, needs some service from your application. They could be consuming a REST API. Basically, you'll have you know, clients and you'll have your server. So that's the kind of the model we're dealing with right here. So this server will be running Node.js in this class. And basically at a high level what Node.js is, is it's basically a C++ program that you control using V8 JavaScript. So any applications you write using Node.js will be written in JavaScript and it'll just control this C++ application and you'll be able to say something like they made a request for this resource and your application actually in JavaScript will say okay if they made a request for this resource I know how to respond to that and I'll respond accordingly. So that's basically the application part, but if your application needs to store persistent data now, that's where MongoDB would come in. So here, the way this will work is that your application will actually make a request to MongoDB. It'll either be trying to store data, it'll be trying to retrieve data, update data, and it'll make a request to MongoDB to perform this operation and MongoDB will reply with the return status or you know if you actually specify write concern which we'll talk about later it'll respond when you know the appropriate persistence is reached you know you can say write concern of my entire replica set and it'll only respond when your entire replica set has been written to and also the core server of MongoDB if you're curious is written in C++ as well so that's how the components work together we basically have this application server interacting directly with clients and when the application server needs to store data persistently it actually acts as the client communicating with MongoDB which is listening for incoming requests and will actually respond you know when the request has been completed. So the other part of this is that we actually have an administrative shell. So this is the Mongo shell and it's a useful tool for performing various administrative tasks if you just want to take a quick look at what's in your database. This is a very useful tool. So what is the Mongo shell exactly? So the Mongo shell is actually has a lot of similarities with Node.js itself in that it's also just a C++ program that you control using V8. So actually when you open up the Mongo shell you get a prompt and you can type various commands into this prompt and the Mongo shell will then interpret these commands using its own V8 bindings and make requests to MongoDB. MongoDB will respond and you can see the immediate response in the shell. So this is useful for doing things like asking various questions about your configuration or even seeing a bit of what you actually have stored in your database or debugging of your application. So this is sort of, you can just think of this whole part as the administrative interface and this part is the actual production interface for your clients. So one last part of this that'll be important just for understanding this once you actually start writing applications Node.js applications, which is what we'll be focusing on for this course, is the way that Node.js actually communicates to MongoDB is through the driver. So there's actually a library that is available that you can install and use in your Node.js application that actually handles all of the connections to MongoDB, all of the failover, all of the wire protocol, and Basically, in your application, all you have to do is use this API provided by the driver, and it'll handle the communication to MongoDB for you. So you can use this API to insert documents, find documents, remove documents, and that'll all be handled by the driver.